internet. Whoa. Zoe here from Two Cynics, and today I am here to unbox Nick's vegetarian Christmas work hamper. Now, some of you may be wondering, why isn't Nick unboxing Nick's Christmas vegetarian work hamper? And that is because Nicholas is my cameraman for the day and has requested that I surprise him with what is inside this bag. I have no idea what's in there. Well, the presentation is beautiful. Very nice. What is that? Lemon chutney from Jen's cousin Han. I have no idea what Jen's cousina is, but the lemon chutney looks good. This is exciting. Oh my god, pasta that doesn't cost a dollar a packet. Expensive, lovely shapes. What the hell does that even say? Shaniqua Tura Al Bonzo. Shaniqua? No. <laughs> Tre. What is it? Tref. Trefalatiana of Bronza. The first bit of it sounds like a bacteria. <laughs> These are so cute, they look like little hats. I'm looking forward to making some really plebeian dinner with like two ingredients huh? for us to eat. We get really, um, we get really cheap pasta. We just get like macaroni or spaghetti because that's what they make for a bowl. So this is great. Oh my god, yum! Oh, iced gingerbread. Oh my gosh, there's like several things in here. This is so tasty looking. Nick loves this kind of icing. I think this is fondant. Nick always eats my fondant when I have it on cake. Oh, they're so cute. Nick will have to bring one in his lunchbox tomorrow. I will. I'll actually have something good for once. I can only blame myself. Something heavy. Oil. Vinegar. Wine. Why even come in a bottle that small? Aceto Red wine. Divino Rosso. Aceto is. Um, red wine vinegar. Yeah. Isn't this a nice bottle? What do you do with red wine vinegar? Do you drink it? Is it red? Is it just really bad red wine? Red wine that tastes like vinegar. It looks so pretty though. I think it's not. I think I don't think it's, it was actually intended to be vinegar to start with. They brewed it up. They fermented it. And someone tasted it and thought, wow, that tastes awful. But they still managed to find a way to sell it as vinegar. Red wine. Vinegar. They have a fantastic, like a kick-ass marketing department. <laughs> well done, guys. Paper? Yes. Oh. You pulled that out with such a plomb. Oh, for God's sake, you're like a magician. <laughs> Corn nibbles. Corn. Mm. They look evil. They've actually stained the inside of the packet. They're like deep fried. Barbecue flavor. Oh my gosh. Anything that's crispy and barbecue flavor is bound to be a hit in this house. Nicholas, I would love to share these with you. Oh, would you? Mm. Okay. You may. So you may partake in my. I forgot what they were. Crispy corn nibbles. You, ma you may partake in my barbecue crispy corn nibbles. <laughs> okay. I honestly haven't looked through here. Everyone else was sort of tipping theirs out onto the desk at work. I just left mine buttoned up. Did anyone else at work have a vegetarian one? Lots of people got it actually. Oh, there was really? there was I could have got a 4.5 kilo ham, which would have been really useful for me and you. Um, it was actually quite gross. There were just all of these people walking around with like giant chunks of meat under their arm for most of the day. 
just everyone walking around with hands. But lots of people got the vegetarian hamper, which I was impressed with. Yeah, well, it's pretty primo. It's not, it's, I mean, the fact that it's vegetarian doesn't mean it has to be bad. Mm. Like most things vegetarian, they don't rely on the meat to give it flavour, so they actually make it taste nice with, like, nice things. That's true. Do you like these? I really like these ones. The baked oat thins. I love these biscuits or crackers. They're quite decadent. They taste almost a bit buttery. Pumpkin sunflower and chia. That sounds awfully healthy. I expect they're going to be quite dry and mealy. I'm really they excited. might need they might need a hefty coating of pesto and hummus and cheese on them to make them edible. We need to get more of all of those three things. <laughs> hey, I got my mayo. I'm good. Chocolate. chocolate Pringles! Caramel sea salt Pringle chocolates. Is this going to be for my pleasure? I think so. <laughs> Give me a look at those. Don't they just look revolting? Oh, gross. They've got white heads. Salt! Ew. Salt. Oh, God, look! There's like a spoon just laden with giant chunks of salt and they're just tipping them all over. Yum. Gross. Me. Oh, there's still. There's still. Oh, there's something little. Ah! That's not a Ferrero, that's a. Confiterie. Well, it's by the what? brand that does Ferreros. A Confiteria Raffaello. Oh, there's an... Oh! Ah. Oh! Do you is like that the genuine? Is that the genuine item? Oh, Ferrero yes. Rocher. Yes, it is. H has anyone... A ball of slightly <laughs> crumbly coconut bar has on a slimy centre. Are interrupting me? <laughs> They've basically got Nutella in the middle. They're so good. Has anyone ever had gelato that's actually got beads inside it? I don't know if it's something that they do all around the world, but in New Zealand we have a few shops that have um, Ferrero Rocher uh, gelato and it's very tasty. I always order it. Just... I bypass it and go straight for the vanilla. And there are two people in this world. People that are interesting and people that order vanilla ice cream at a gelato shop. Damn it, Zoe! <laughs> you had to bring that up, did you? You had to expose me in front of the world. You the whole internet yourself. knows now. <laughs> okay. Oh, for God! <laughs> stop doing that! You look so genuinely excited. What is in it? No, it's more paper, isn't it? Should we take bets on whether it's going to be paper or not? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Is that, that actually looks really exciting. Is that pasta sauce? Fire roasted tomato and garlic pasta sauce. <gasps> sauce. Anytime they include the word fire, it's bound to be exciting. Too bad the brand is Zito. <laughs> Zito. 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 Nicholas! Give me some of that Zito sauce, Zoe. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> is there anything in my magical bag of goodness? There's a bit of fluff from the ribbon. Oh. That's disappointing. Is this your favourite thing that's been inside the bag? I actually quite liked the uh, festive iced gingerbread, to be honest. Oh! You don't, you don't like the girl that's got a bag on her head? You don't need to put a bag on your head, honey. 
you are acceptably beautiful. <laughs> Come on, gorgeous, put it down. <laughs> well, that concludes the unboxing of my vegetarian hamper from work. Thanks, Meth Ben. Um, very should... kind of you. <laughs> I think I should say something as well. Since what would you I like to the, say? I'm the talent today. You're always the talent. My flowing hair. I would like to thank you for visiting our channel, watching our video, and witnessing for the first time, along with us, crispy corn nibbles, BBQ. It's been real. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>